I'm standing here with Tamsin Mabetcha Bauer. She is the first black South African to be a hopeful for the next Paralympics, of course, in horse riding. Hello, it's such a pleasure to meet you. To meet you too. Now, how on earth did you get into horse riding? Uh, well, when I was born, they said that I would never be able to walk. So then my mom put me on a horse and said, oh, she is going to walk and I am walking. Your mom sounds like an incredible woman. Yes, both my parents are. They both have tried so hard to get me to where I am today and they've succeeded. Now tell me about your horse riding career. When you started riding horses, did you ever think you would be here almost at the Paralympics representing South Africa? No, you know, everybody used to tell me, you know, you can go to the Olympics. I'm like, yeah, it's the Olympics, sure. And, you know, I never saw this day coming, ever. And here it is. It's in, it's in eyesight. Tamsin, how old are you? I'm 16 and I'm 17 in October. 17 years old, on your way to the Paralympics. Jeez Louise, your friends and family must be so proud. I'm sure they are, I'm very sure they are. <laughs> now tell me about the type of riding you do. Well, it's called para dressage. It's specifically for uh, people who are disabled. And then according to your disability, you get graded into certain grades of your disability and then Four is if you do, do, next to no disability, and grade one is when you have the highest disability, and I'm a grade one B. Wow. Now, tell me about how your disability has helped you in the sport, or maybe maybe it's it's thrown some um, disadvantages your way. Tell me about uh, about learning to ride a horse with a disability. You know, it hasn't been easy. I've had to learn differently to everyone else, you know, and I've had to learn my own techniques. And so it's been difficult, it has, but um, we've done it. <laughs> How do you feel to be the first black South African in this category? I'm blown away, I'm blown away. I still, even today, it hasn't even sunk in yet. <laughs> Tell me about your training schedule. Um, well, I'm working very hard at the moment, along with my instructor and the team. And we're um, there is a show coming up, which I hope to do very well in. And then after that, we hope to get my, me overseas so I can do some more qualifiers over there. Oh my gosh. Now, speaking to you, our viewers at home, I mean, you, you look like a very able-bodied person. <laughs> what is your disability exactly? Um, it's called cerebral palsy. You get different degrees of it. For me, it's just I don't have proper use of my left side and my walking. And how does that affect you in training? Um, well, as I said, it is difficult. Yeah. There are a lot of things you have to learn on my own. And, you know, it's obviously difficult for people who teach me. You know, they're not really sure of how it works. And so you learn every day. Now, do you, do you love the horses? Do you really feel that bond with horses? Yes, you know, I don't think I'll ever be able to part with horses. They've just been a part of my life. Have you ever had one that was like a little bit off on his personality? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had naughty horses. Really? Um, yes. <laughs> I've had naughty horses. <laughs> when you say you've had naughty horses, what on earth have they done? I mean, they've bucked me off three times in a lesson. I mean, I've fallen off. I've had uh, um, sores in my arm. I've had very naughty horses. What's going through your mind when you get bucked off of a horse? Um, I have to get back on. <laughs> <laughs> It's the rule of horse riding. When you fall off, you get back on and try again. Thank you very much for chatting with me and good luck uh, um, at, at getting a spot at the Paralympics. Thank you. Thank you very much.